work energy theorem, right? Work energy theorem states that work energy theorem please mute yourself sam okay. work energy theorem Work energy theorem states that total work done, total work done, work done on a body, on a body is equal to the, is equals to the change in its kinetic energy. change in its kinetic energy. That is what is to call it as work energy. Okay. So write it. If, if a body is initially moving, if a body is initially moving with a velocity, with the velocity u, u, and attains attains a velocity v attains a velocity v after traveling after traveling a distance yes yes by the application of force by the application of force F, then, then, what is the force F is equals to formula? Force F is equals to mass into acceleration. Mass into acceleration. Let me take that is the equation number one. Clear? Everybody? Mr. Sam? So now, also, we all know that what is the velocity? Third equation of motion. So V square is equals to U square plus 2AS. So this is from which equation of motion, everybody? Third equation of Third. motion. Okay. So I'll say V square minus u square is equals to 2as and s is equals to v square minus u square divided by 2a. Now, let me consider this is equation number 2. So now we all know that work done w is equals to force into displacement. So now work done is equals to Force is equals to mass into acceleration. Displacement is equals to V square minus U square divided by 2A. So AA will get cancelled. So work energy theorem, that is what W is equals to half into M into V square minus U square. So I will multiply with the M into half. So half M V square minus half m u square. So this is what change in total work done on a body. Total work done on a body is equals to total work done on a body is equals to change in its kinetic energy. Change in its kinetic energy. So change in, change in anything will represent with what? Delta. Understanding all of you? So that is what we used to call it as Change in kinetic energy is equals to work done, which is equals to half m v square minus half m u square. This is what we used to call it as a, everyone, what we used to call work energy theorem. Okay, well, all of you understand? So now, 
now you might be have a connection with the ncrt why the ncrt has been done that approach sir initial velocity is u and final velocity is v to prove that both concepts kinetic energy plus work energy theorem in the single formula they have been taken that approach are you clear everybody understand yes sir yeah so that is the approach they have been taken clear so to explain the concept okay both concepts in the single formula all of you make it clear everybody make it quick anything doubt you can ask yes, sir this is what work energy theorem so right work done is equals to i'll write it work done is equals to here final kinetic energy final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy so that is what i'll take final kinetic energy you can take it as approach all of you so you can take it ekf and the initial kinetic energy is eki that's what we will say thus thus the total work done work done is equal to change equal to change in its kinetic energy change in its kinetic energy is it okay everybody clear make it understood Yes, sir. Hmm. Do it fast. Alfin, understand Alfin? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, so now based upon this, you'll be having a questions also. Yeah, you can finish it. So up to here you solve, then the numericals and all we'll discuss, we'll do it. So this is what is uh, work energy theorem. Finish it. So with this, uh, we'll make it. So, but learn, the derivations are very, very important. So everywhere it will uh, hunt us. So wherever you go, higher classes also, this will be keep on repeating, repeating, repeating. Okay, do it. Any doubt? Anybody? So those who are completed, you can leave from the meeting. No problem. Yes. You can leave from here. Yeah. Thank you, everybody.